Well, morning. We're starting another video. And it is morning, and it's a cold one. Something like about 7 degrees out there. This is a uh, quick little video, and it's a little bit informal. As you guys may or may not know, if you're regular viewers of my channel, I have multiple sclerosis. And uh, that means that my ability to climb things and walk and stuff like that is kind of affected, and maybe even more in the future. So I've been ticking off a few bucket list items. Uh, one of the most recent bucket list items is climbing a clock tower that I've been staring at since uh, I moved to my area. So uh, today I actually got the opportunity to climb it. Uh, so yeah, we're going to have a few clips of that. A bit of explanation about it. Nothing really specific. It was a very impromptu, very short notice video. So we're going to go climb that. And uh, yeah, you guys can see me tick off another bucket list item. Let's get on with it. But when we're up the top, you see there's um, where the weights come down yeah. for the two trains on the clock. The okay. chiming train yeah. and the going chain. So okay, so they, they descend through down. these holes, yeah. Yep. Once they hit the ground, yep. everything stops. Yeah, of course. So the yeah. um, and, and it's a it's a, an eight day mechanism, yeah. which means that um, whoever's on the roster yeah. needs to wind it on a Sunday. Yeah. Um, and then it all works. If I'm not here in a weekend and, and I'm rostered, yeah. I might do it on the Thursday and then the Tuesday as well. Yeah. So I might come in three, you know, twice instead of the once. Yeah, obviously, because, um, yeah, that... You know, yeah, so the, 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 the old, um, what we're going to see, it, well, this was recreated in the, as a bicentennial project. Yeah. Um, they used the original clock tower from the Commonwealth Centre up the end um, as the guide, but ultimately it was a lot thicker bricks and a lot heavier construction. Yeah. This has been done to a bit of a bunch of yeah. So I'll jump through the first section okay. and then you can follow me up. Um, yep. then, uh, then we've got a couple of ones. No worries. Cool. Because we'll pull ourselves up here to the first section, drop that again. Yeah, no worries. So it protects us a bit. Right, we've got a man here on the camera after three points of contact. Yep. <laughs> I brought the magnet base. Well done, very clever. We didn't have to do that. Yep. So we used to do that on the fire towers. Yeah, you're saying that's pretty cool. So this, you'll see the windows around the outside here. The original clock tower, you see photos of them, had yeah. two, two windows on each side, two of the bent windows on each side. Yeah. But that would have, uh, that's where you would have had to have had much thicker walls yeah. to, to deal with it. So that was one of them uh, when they sort of come from the This is lots of the bell here, you can see. Yeah. That's what I took that video the other night. Yeah. That's all good. Look, I've been looking at this for years and I've always wanted to have a look in here. Yeah, it's pretty dark. Nice. Um, There's a few things going oh, on here with equipment and things. That's all good. It's all right. Actually, last night at uh, seven o'clock, mm -hmm. both of those were wound 
as high as they can go so that the weight themselves is just knocking up on top there. Yep. And that's how far they've come down in that period. All good. Put a sticky finger into this so I can take some time to absorb it. Yeah. But, um, it was the same mechanism as with the big van in the beginning of the month. Yeah, it was just, just a bit, a bit smaller. Yeah, it's like a different scale. Yeah. So the, uh, but all the bits, like this bit here, was just made by a local who, who um, manufactured it up to no, no cost. Yeah. It's all good. Three cool thing. So right, it's this, the layout of this mechanism is especially interesting. For me, it's just the uh, that's the background behind it, and the way they've done the, the cog here with the rollers in it's interesting. Well, that's 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 what's just been replaced yeah. because it was a cast piece yeah. that they're not easy to get hold of. So one of the um, people who's sort of a friend of the clock tower, I think, it is, has made that up. Okay. The, the roster is um, you, once or twice a year. Mm -hmm. You're off two weeks. Yeah. So I do two Sundays, once or twice a year. This, this is getting busy for me, I'm already on two museums. Yeah, but it's, a, it's, yeah. Only, it's, it's that sort of two or at the most four whites per year, it's pretty good. Yeah. Okay, so you've got counterweights for your, your dials and your power yep. ones. Yeah. That would be a fairly specific uh, calibration process, that would be. Yeah. Yeah. So and it keeps a pretty good time, but there yeah. are sometimes when you come up and do the line where you've got to stop it for a short period. Or yeah. let it go for a short period just to, to, to kind of get it to adjust to the right time. <coughs> when I came in last night, I uh, think last week, I, I think it was me, I must have, I left that little door open. Yeah. And this wait for the chiming <laughs> train. So oh, that'll, that'll mess it up. Yeah. yeah so, so then what you have to do is you can sort of release the, uh, the, the, the lever for the um, chiming. Mm. And then just let you know, let it do three times, four times, five times, six times until you get to where you want to be. Yeah, so it's not going to work its way through. Yeah, yeah. So this one, the the going train's really, really hard to um, to yeah. wind. So um, you've got to you've really got to get the strength behind it. Yeah. And this little thing here is just a counterweight. So what you do yeah. is is when you're winding. Mm -hmm. But there's a little weight in the wall. Oh, lean on that. Yeah. There's a little weight in the wall over there. We'd hang that on this. Yeah. And that would keep the pressure on it because you're releasing the pressure as you're winding okay. it up. Yeah, so yeah. Um, so it's quite it's quite so it doesn't go in the runaway then. Uh, well it's well, not the runaway, it's we pausing the back around. No, no, more the more the pausing. So what okay. will happen is is because it's it's relying on, on the weight of that yeah. to keep it running. Okay, so it doesn't mess up the timing. Correct. Okay. So that, that keeps yeah. enough pressure on the drum, yeah. um, uh, on the mechanism, sorry. Whereas it doesn't matter when you're winding a chiming one because you're unlikely to be winding yeah. while it's doing its hourly time. That's right. Now I'm just going to switch my thinking to everything in this is engineered around keeping the time exact, not engineered around safety first. Yes. That's timing first. Yes, yes. Yeah. 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 All right, we'll open this and go back down, will we? Yeah. All right, let's go. Now, let me just get myself in here in a uh, sensible fashion. Okay. Just so I don't get hung up on stuff. These hands off one. I find rushing is not a good idea in these places. Uh, no, I agree. on the yep. rung. Yep. I, I those those the, foot stands are actually a bit of a... Hey, uh, see, I don't want to try and issue the one below. Yeah, I know. I'm just trying to get myself into a position where I'm stable. Yeah. Because I need to remove the point of contact. Yep. Yeah, that way. Without a harness, yeah. you sort of what goes through your brain is three points of contact every time you take a step. Yeah, I'll hear it again. <laughs> so 
this foot step in. They're actually a bit counterproductive, those foot steps. Yeah, but it's good if you're doing it by yourself. The problem is, you, you, you can't use it in your body. Okay. Yep. Runs when you fall off and bust your ankle. Yeah, let's not do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just reminding myself not to get complacent. <laughs> so, I hope that uh, satisfies your curiosity. Some of you will know where this is, but uh, as you know, I don't like to advertise where I film or where I am. It's just generally not good practice on public stuff like YouTube. Anyway, I hope it was interesting. We'll be on with some more stuff in the near future.